Yo. Um. All right. All right. So when I went to the Leon 25 stair, I went there knowing that this was the biggest thing that I was going to jump down. So I knew I needed the best insoles I could get. So I used the King Foam Elite insoles. Um, without those, I don't think I would have gotten as many tries as I did. Uh, I even kicked out on one and my feet were fine. So thank you, Footprint Insoles. Keep making the best insoles on the planet. Footprint insoles are the best. It's pretty epic. Best things I have used, everything I've used so far. By far. Game changers. These are great for, I guess, people with flat feet like myself. Um, absorbs about 90% of the energy. That's pretty epic. That's pretty awesome. And then you've got the Thorax. The leaks, these are whole, uh, heat multiple as well. Come on, man. These are heat multiple as well. Both you can chuck in the ovens and uh, whack them in. And let that mold to your feet. Once you put it in your boot or your shoes. Other good. So these are good for people with past injuries. If you've had uh, torn ACLs or bad knees, bad joints, um, they will just give you extra support that you need. And yeah, they will help you uh, put your legs and feet in the right positions that they need to be in. So you're not always going to be so one-sided and overcompensating for the other side. Because um, when you do that, that's when you're going to cause more injuries to your body with your posture, your spine. It's the last thing you want. You're already, you're already banged up enough. And what I've used in the past... Ah, uh, obviously, I've tried the Go Project, jelly things, I like cheapies, I like cheap, nasty foam things that were that didn't work. Used old shoes, huffs, had Converse insoles as well. Um, even the My Fit, the ones that came in my sways. But you know, kind of worked. Not really. I'm like, not as good as the foot insoles, footprint insoles. Look at these things. So good. Thick. Like, I think it goes to about seven millimeters at the, at the um, heel there. Nice and thick. When you push it down, you can feel it, man. That's good. That's extra little. What is it? That's the, the NASA approved kind of foam that they used as well that helps absorb all that energy, all that impact. Comes with these extra little ones as well. And you just uh, whack on the heels. And that will help as well. For sure. That's what I've used. We'll whack them on there. So, with all these other ones that I've used, all of them. Like, they made my skates comfortable to ride on. It was all good. But, I would still get shock through my legs whenever I tried to do just, oh man, it wouldn't even have to be a big gap. It would be like a five steel or something. Even though five steel is big for me these days. But, even just off a higher ledge, just stomping, stomping that landing, I'd feel every once in a while just that, like an electric shock going through the heels and my bones you know if that happens imagine if you don't have insoles like shit it hurts man this ruins ruins a little session I'm like man I've even doubled up I have even doubled up on things whack them together see if it'd be any better especially the what's these ones here with the rain liners double that up just to create extra thickness, still electric shocks. Um, still very comfy, but at the same time, also it would, because your boot's only so big, right? Plastic, so you're squishing everything together, leaving not nowhere near as much room as you normally would for your feet in there. So that's the other compromise you gotta worry about. 
I remember talking to one of my homies, Stuart Thomas, ages ago, um, about shock absorbers and soles, and he suggested foot frames. Couldn't really get them in New Zealand at the time, but in saying that, um, one of the local coffee shops that I go to, uh, Escape Coffee at Roasters, um, were selling skateboards and other bits and pieces at the time as well, and they actually happened to have some. They had these. Um, yeah, now I don't know what version of footprint insoles they are, but they were not the game changers or the other ones that I thought they would be. Very comfy, squishy, awesome, awesome to walk on. But I found um, even these were didn't give me the protection that I needed. Um, I'd still get that electric shock, and because of that, I was like, oh, "What is you on about? It's not that great." Um, and it wasn't until I started getting back into handrails, and I had one. Um, I came off the rail too early, so it was quite a quite a big long jump down, and from that, I smashed my heel, gave me massive heel bruise. Um, and I was out. I was out from skating for a good couple of months. Um, even though I try and skate in between and just re, re bruise it, I'll be back to square one. Um, it's my fault for not being able to help myself. But yeah, after that is when I looked into footprint a bit deeper. Um, went down the rabbit hole and found that what I really need were the game changers or the orthotics, but uh, the game changers are all me. Um, and after that, man, skating's never been uh, never been better. Um, been using them for a good four year and a half, two years, year and a half, two years, somewhere around there. Not once have I had that 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 feeling of of electricity when I land and just shooting through my heels and through my knees and all the way up to the hips um, so it's great I'm the awesome of awesome um, I can't recommend them any more than anyone else look at other reviews man like and other kind of videos they do this one where they throw they'll line up all these different insoles all on the ground and then they'll, they'll bounce a, a bowling ball and all the bowling balls, you know, they, they actually bounce. You know, showcasing that is your heel. And then when it gets to the footprint, it just stops. It doesn't bounce or anything, just... We'll actually link these up. They're, they're worth checking out, though. it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Um, you got to protect your heels, protect your body. Um, you don't want to be down and out. I'm sunny, all the homies are off skating, and you're there limping. Uh, I've got bruised heels, uh, crying. Oh, I guess I'll film for everyone. Um, and it's all good, but you, know, you can be out there skating. Best things I've ever used. Highly recommend them. One thing to worry about though is, like I said before, with your boots, there's only so much space in there. So before you go out and buy these, because you know, obviously everyone's feet are different, boot sizes are different, different liners, um, so many variables, you might want to um, get a couple of insoles from of shoes that you might have and just kind of smash them together and then whack them in to your boot and see how much space you actually have for your feet. And that will be that will give you a bit more of a more of an understanding of um, whether they'll fit properly or not. But man, if you can, you yeah, you won't be sorry. Well worth it. Well worth the money, man. I mean, like you can get custom-made insoles from some specialist, and they'll cost you two, three hundred bucks. When this is like a third of the price, you know, or even less than that. Well worth it, well well worth investment. They heat moldable, like come on man, that's 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 sick. That's sick. Why why would you 
not spend the, the money now to prevent any massive injuries where you'll just stuff yourself up for a lifetime. You know, small price, a very small price compared to yeah, the aftermath that could really happen. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's why I use them. Man, that's it. I, I don't know why everyone is not using them. I do not know why shops aren't stocking them. I don't know why people don't know more about them. It's ridiculous. Like, I know there's others out there, but man, these are... Get, get onto it, get onto it, get onto it.